Affection. How's this back? And uh, today I bring you guys a very cool tutorial for Cinema 4D and uh, X particles. Um, I'm going to show you how to reveal uh, textures with object collision. So um, I think it's a really cool tutorial and cool tip that you guys should follow up here at Affection House. So let's uh, make this uh, happen. So um, also uh, I'll save uh, just a file for you guys to, to start up the tutorial easily. If you want to just download this and follow up our tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to add over here is just an emitter and also a generator. So um, I need this generator to emit particles and my particle is going to be the cube. I'm going to set this cube to around 10 by each side so you can have a smaller, a smaller particle. I'm going to add this as a child of a generator. So, But I'm also need to this emitter uh, to be uh, an emitter for this generator. So I'm going to add this emitter over the generator and if I press play you see that my particles or my cubes already are building it uh, by the emitter and by the generator. So I'm going to push this a little bit behind uh, the emitter, sorry, over here. And if you bring this just to this side of the side of the object and start rescaling and organizing all our cubes, uh, we can now do it by the generator. So go into our generator, I can decrease a little bit the scale size of my particle and can increase the variation of it. So I'm also going to put a little bit of rotation around here and I'm going to set this to all this size. And if I press play now, we should have particles already with a little bit of variation and all that good stuff going on. We just need now to set this uh, on the emitter. Now the emitter, I'm going to set my birth rate to a lot less so we don't have this chunk of particles around here. I'm going to increase a little bit the speed of it. That I think is cool. Just customizing our scene setup for, for the, the collision of the objects and we are ready set up to start going. But I'm also going to add just some turbulence over here so we can have a little bit of more uh, randomness and variation on the on the particles. We can also add a little bit more string and I think we're cool to start so this is just to, to set up our base uh, animation for it so I'm going to add a collision on the triangle and just a, a collider tag over here and I can customize a little bit the bounce also the friction and it's okay and I'm also going to add just a collision tag over here uh, and um, this way the, the objects will collide better with the triangle and uh, we're not just uh, emit the size of the particle that is being emitted uh, then it will be colliding with, uh, with all the shape of the cube so I think it's a lot better for that so let me just make a play and we see that we already have better collision over here so once that we're done with this we can start making our materials for the reveal and also for the main uh, base of our of our object over here. So I'm going to make just uh, that yellowish orange that we use for our effects and I'm going to set a little bit of reflection over here just for now and set a little bit of blurriness on this so that the material gets a cool uh, shadow over here and, uh, and a cool uh, color. So I'm going to add this to my triangle. It's going to be my main color and I'm going to create the, the coolest part of this tutorial. That is the, the, the animation uh, texture that we see uh, on the image preview that, that we did. So I'm going to add on the first color over here a colorizer. And on the colorizer, you see that you have a skin like a gradient uh, animating. Uh, it's not animating uh, right now because it is still going to have the, the alpha. But you can then animate this and uh, make a cool color on this. So I set up my first texture over here, and now I'm going to the alpha. That is going to be the texture is going to be reveal, and the animation for the reveal is going to be. You go into effects. You got to put a proximal. But what the proximal does? <coughs> the proximal. Uh, <coughs> sorry, guys. The proximal will emit uh, the texture from the start to the to the end. So. We will need to use the vertices, also the edges, and just put a little bit less of the distance over here. So we can have a cooler gradient scheme. So okay, we have this, but now we need to 
to add uh, our animation, our uh, our displacement uh, and our proxima over here to emit uh, by the collision of the of these particles. So what we need to do is just set up a new particle scene, just a particle geometry, and also a particle a thinking particle setup uh, group. And we're going to add a new group. I'm going to call this fx particles and just set up a color around this just like a blue it's just for the particles you will not see the color of this so I'm going to add my particle group onto the particle geometry and also going to activate my my particles on the emitters so I'm going to the emitter generate taking particles and that's just based our group over there and now you can you can add our geometry over the object uh, of this shader so we can uh, animate by the collision so I'm going to press backwards and press play and just see if you already have um, the, the this collision working on so I think we still don't have this because we didn't add the texture over this so I'm going to add this texture and I'm going to make a new render uh, and start play okay we have our collision working on and if you set the render you see that um, that uh, gradient is already being animated by the collision so each particle that collapsed would animate this over and over so but the cool part now you can add uh, a lot of customization on your on your colors over here so I'm going to colorizer again I'm going to choose a texture I'm going to add a noise and on this noise I'm going to choose uh, Nautilus it's a cool it's a cool noise to work out and I'm going to increase a little bit the global scale of it so we can have like cool chunks of black and cool chunks of white over here and it uh, margins a larger area so going back again and we already have our cool texture over here so but now you can customize this having big, bigger chunks of black or bigger chunks of white of red uh, sorry and you can drag just this down over here just trying to see if you can get some cool chunks of red I think it's cool for now yeah it's okay and if you make a render you'll see that uh, the the particles and the objects colliding are already revealing this uh, nice texture so after that you can also uh, animate this because um, it's a noise and you always can animate noise and they could and now you can increase also the the texture of this you can copy this go to the bump and I'm going to paste just set this to a little bit lower uh, a little bit larger and copy this texture again and let's go to our displacement let's paste this on and just leave the settings around this so we can make our first renders and if you see you're already getting a, a little bit more detail on the on the volume of the texture that we are emitting by the the proximal and the and this texture animation so uh, I think it's a really cool technique for you guys to learn and to use uh, animations or even on stop images and um, I was just uh, playing around with uh, Cinema for the Next Particles and I find this up so I um, hope you're enjoying this and uh, it's like this if you see we have our, our chunks of black and white getting a cool displacement and it has a very cool uh, and uh, can I say cool shader on this it looks a real a lot realistic so um, now you can just organize this just so we can have like a final image going to the emitter just set the birth rate a little bit less and also on the generator I'm going to set this a little bit lower I'm going to press play have our particles running and now you can also once we have our meter running, we can control uh, copy and push this around. And if you press play again, our particles are touching the, the top of the triangle. And we should probably already having uh, this uh, texture reveal over here too. So just make another render. And the noise scale is like that. I just didn't want to, to make a, a big displacement noise over here so we can have a cool render 
on a fast render so you guys can see. But uh, after you guys uh, having this technique together, just to increase your bumps and increase your displacement noises. And, uh, and also, you can play a lot with the color, the colorizer, and the, the, the lot of uh, noises that you have here. Just, um, I just wanted to, to show you guys the technique, how to organize and make this uh, run. And um, it's like that, guys. You can also animate the texture and uh, make a cool animation on this, or just make a, like a stop uh, image for your projects or for your client projects and, uh, and all that, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick tip uh, for from Effects on a House, guys. We have a lot more tutorials on Cine 4D and uh, After Effects and also X Particles. And I hope you guys continue to follow up our stuff. So if you guys have any questions or any doubts, just leave a comment down there or leave a like. Uh, I will be very pleased to that. So guys, uh, see you guys in the next project. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Hey!